Tori, in um, high school, were you a Carolina fan, Clemson fan? Um, in high school, I, you know, I, I really didn't understand the rivalry because um, at Rock Hill High School, our school was divided. You know, a lot of people, you know, were Clemson and Carolina fans. But um, after I enrolled in USC, it's just it's something that's taken over, and I'm the biggest Gamecock fan out there. So after being here for a couple of years now, what have you learned about the rivalry? Is there anything about the rivalry that surprised you? Um, well, uh, one person, they sent me a message on Facebook, and um, it, it was a guy, I, I guess his father passed away, and on his tombstone he put, I'd rather be here than at Clemson. And um, it, was just, it was just something that really affected me in a positive way because I was like, hey, you know, <laughs> there's a lot of bad things out there, but, you know, I'm going to go out and just play hard and enjoy it because, you know, this rivalry runs deep. Tori, can you tell us what kind of player Stefan Gilmore is from your opinion, how tough it is to go up against him? Um, Stefan is a, a competitor. You know, he loves to compete, and with that mentality, you know, every time the ball is in the air, he feels like he can make a play on it and keep you from, you know, getting a first down or a touchdown. So, you know, it's great working with a player of that caliber at practice because it only prepares us for game time situations. Tori, um, you guys have had a lot of firsts this season. Um, what would it mean to you personally to to get back-to-back -back wins against Clemson for the first time in I mean in 40 years? Uh, it'll mean a lot because it'll just show that as a team we're growing and maturing, and um, you know everyone is just taking this opportunity to, to taking this opportunity to just go out and play football. You know it's something we love to do, and we just have to continue to stay focused. And our task at hand is Clemson this week. Have you heard any trash talking or anything else from any of the players or? No, nah, you know, as our team, we really don't talk a lot. You know, we just go out and, you know, prove it with our actions and the way we play. You know, our coaches are going to do a great job of putting us in a situation to be successful, and we just have to go out and execute. Tori, a couple of weeks ago you had a chance. You played Arkansas with the game at Florida meaning so much the next week. This week you play Clemson with the game the next week meaning so much. What did you learn when you played against Arkansas versus how you can – Put that into play this week. Um, we have zero room for error. You know, we want to go into, uh, we want to take it, take each game like a one game championship because every game matters. You know, we we have a a big team goal we're trying to accomplish, and for us to do that, we have to win each game, and it starts with Clemson. Tori, you, you talk about how each game matters, and it's that game that week. Is this kind of the ultimate test, knowing what's coming next week, that the focus on Clemson? Yeah, because it's, it's going to prepare us for, you know, just the future and, and just us as a team. You know, a, a lot of fans are expecting us to come out and, and give it our all because it's the in-state rivalry game. And, uh, you know, as a player, you know, we're ready to go out and play this game. We have to continue to just work hard and practice and, uh, and just have fun playing the game on Saturday. Tori, straight back. Uh, there's a perception from the fans, I think, that this team struggles in cold weather. What are your thoughts on that? Uh, nah, we we just gonna go out and play ball. You know, the uh, equipment managers are gonna give us the equipment we need to go out and be successful. But you know, it's all a mentality. You know, we just have to go out and just be tough and play football. Tori, uh, Coach Spurrier mentioned that you know uh, the tensions in this rivalry have cooled some since the brawl several years ago. Are you friends with some folks on Clemson? And do you feel that way too? That it's not you know this it's not the rivalry isn't quite so intense. Well, uh, Jonathan Meeks, uh, the defensive back for Clemson, he's from Rock Hill, and um, you know we grew up playing against each other. I'm a few years older than him, but. Um, you know, he's been a competitive guy, and, you know, we spoke a few times, but, you know, it's all about going going out and playing football. You know, we, we may exchange a few words every now and then, but when it comes down to it, it's about winning this game on Saturday. Coach talked about this team being where it wanted to be at this point in the season and continuing to get better. With this week and then that next week, do you feel that you guys are in a position to – in the position you really wanted to be in? Uh, yeah, because we, we worked extremely hard in the off season. You know, our goal was to go undefeated. And with us taking the losses, it, it really helped us as a team because, you know, we understand how valuable each game is. And, you know, with Saturday coming around the corner, we, it's just opportunity for us to go out and, and prove to the world that, you know, we're, 
where it's advertised. Tori, over here. Uh, we were asking Coach Spurry about the difference between this team and maybe some past teams here at South Carolina. He talked about uh, the leadership abilities, not only of the older guys, but some of the younger guys, too. And he credited some of that to guys coming from programs like you did, you know, with a tradition of winning, te winning teams and winning championships. Uh, if you don't mind, just the difference you see maybe in this year's team, how this team has come together that way uh, and has that sort of mentality? Well, it's just competing because uh, if you catch us away from the football field, you know, everyone is still competing against each other. And uh, it's contagious because everyone wants to win. You know, you know when we go against the defensive backs and one-on-one -on -one drills, if you lose, you're going to hear about it for the rest of the day. And that mentality is just – it's really propelled, propelled our team. And, you know, with us uh, going offense and defense and also doing special team drills, you know, the coaches are just doing a great job of finding ways – finding different uh, – finding different practices and skills for us to just stay competitive. So, you know, I just credit the coaches and some of the guys that did come from those winning backgrounds. Just, you know, I just thank them for that.